Hi, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer and MTech. Uh, today we are having releasing a new firmware for our electric trunk. Um, so you will have three features. So let me try to talk about the first feature first. Since the Christmas update, um, we have a new UI on the car. So before it is a top view, right now it becomes a whole car UI. So a lot of people have a concern uh, because when the trunk is open, let me open the trunk. So after the trunk is open, uh, previously our trunk will show as closed if someone is sitting in the front seat. So this is very, a lot of people find it very confusing because the trunk is opened, uh, but the UI show that it is closed. The, the reason why we make it closed when someone is sitting in the front seat is because we want to enable the open, uh, enable the button so you can close it from the screen. Um, but since the UI is too confusing and it's not consistent, uh, as a driver, we also think that it's not a good idea anymore. Be before it, it showed a top view, so, so it doesn't uh, make a, a big concern. But uh, right now, it, it's just, uh, it just doesn't, doesn't look good, so, so we, we, we released this update. So after today, uh, if you update our new firmware, uh, it's only for uh, 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 V2 actually. Uh, uh, by, by the way, so so if you are using V1, you don't have this feature. It's only for V2 or above. So after you update it, um, so right now you can see the trunk is shown as opened. But if you need to close it from the touch screen, you just need to press on the brake. So let me press on the brake. So after you press on the brake, so it will enable the button for you, so you can use this to close it. So this is the first feature. The second feature is about the uh, car wash and food sensor. A lot of people, uh, they have a problem with the car wash because uh, whenever the car, uh, they are having the car wash, uh, it might trigger the food sensor. So we add a new feature. So in, uh, in order to deactivate the food sensor, you, need, you can just uh, press on the emergency button here, the emergency flashlight, and you will disable the food sensor. So whenever you are doing the car wash, you can, uh, uh, you can enable the emergency flashlight so you can disable the full sensor but this is only for the uh, v2 or after uh, with our full sensor connector so if you upgrade it from if you upgrade it from v1 to v2 uh, you do not have this feature uh, unless uh, you do some wire splicing yourself you can contact me to, uh, i can teach you how to do it but if you have the v2 or later you have this feature but if you upgrade it from v1 to v2 or from v1 to v2.5 you you will not have this feature so you need to contact us uh, so we can give you some idea on how to do it so this is the second feature and the third feature we need to go to the back and see so for the third feature is an anti-pinch uh, feature uh, previously we have the anti-pinch feature but it will stop when it feel uh, if it sense obstacle uh, in this version, we will take it into another stage. So, so if you close it and you send something, it will go back up. So this is a more completed uh, anti-pinch feature. So this will be released in, together with this update. So these are the three features uh, included in this update. I hope you like uh, like it. So if you like our product, uh, remember to hit like, uh, subscribe, and share our video. Thank you.